What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol BKKT for backed holdings. On the left hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right hand side, the 30 minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will, of course, be an update. We talked about it extensively back in this section of the chart here. Uh, we've since cleared the drawing set, but the stock is waking up uh, on today's session, right? You can certainly see on the 30 minute as well a fair bit of volume coming in to support the move higher today. The main level I want you to focus in on, and if we just adjust the chart maybe you can spot it before I draw it in is the break and retest area uh, from the daily flush point if that didn't make sense all I'm talking about is this at around $16.50 you can see the daily lows had stacked at that area we break and retest fail on the back test and continue lower on today's session we actually closed above however I would be remiss if I didn't tell you in the post market we're currently trading slightly underneath okay so 1575 by 1580 uh, you know just somewhere kind of just below 16 in here, technically speaking back underneath that critical pivot point at the 15 or excuse me, 1650, which we just pointed out. Now, the bane of this chart's existence is the daily 50 SMA. That's the blue line here. If we can clear it, what would be the next overhead target from the daily perspective? Well, let's find that together here and talk about some scenarios when we drill down to the 30 minute. The overhead target that I'm seeing would come from here. Basically, this prior low at the red candle, we've certainly respected it there on the green candle breakout out day, uh, but then flipping to resistance in this upper wick, right? So that's where we're going to go with 2175 uh, as your next overhead target. And just based on today's range, it's not like that's out of striking distance from a break up and over that 1650. Uh, or even if you just take out the high of day here, again, that's definitely on the table as a reasonable range. Now, this goes without saying or should go without saying if the breakout's going to occur, then it needs to happen on high volume, right? So what would we classify as high volume? Well, on today's session, the sort of bigger volume bars were up and over about 2 million shares per 30 minute bar. So if we can see sustained volume at at least 2 million shares per 30 minute bar, then fine, maybe that's on the table and potentially higher after that. But if volume cannot get to that amount, and it's really like what we saw back here, I would not be too excited about a potential break back above that 1650 pivot. If that happens on low volume, I would be very, very skeptical of the move and likely opt to not get involved in the potential play there. Now, what are some downside levels to uh, you know pay attention to considering that we're opening underneath? Well, certainly from a structural standpoint, hopefully you can see this one at and around 1550, right? So let's throw that on the chart together. Then what we'll do as a backup is take out our Fibonacci's from the low of the day all the way on up to the high of the day. There we go. And does this coincide with anything? Eh, not really, right? I would really opt for this structure here, holding up into the last 30 minute bull flag of the day, as opposed to cherry pick the 61.8. The 38.2 is so close to that 16.50 as well that we're just going to go once again with structure there. So thanks for nothing, Fibs. We'll go ahead and remove you off the chart and talk in terms of scenarios now. So number one, the most bullish outcome here would be if by the open, we can open back above this 16.50, fine. Look for consolidation here, break of the high of day from today's session on good volume, mind you, can get you into that overhead target we pointed out at 2175. Scenario number two would be opening in here, fine, that's okay. If it's on decent volume, not, you know, nothing elevated yet, then look for the poke back above 1650 and reevaluate the break of high of day if good volume comes in as that's happening, right? If volume is not coming in as that move is unfolding, I would likely be skeptical, as I mentioned earlier. And then lastly, not so interested in the trade if we open up underneath 1550, noting that all of these people would now be overhead supply. If volume's not there, it's doing something like this, just tapering off to nothing, then any back tests of this area should produce chop as these people likely try to get out at break even. They turn into sellers. It's just added selling pressure, and you don't want to try to be fighting your way through that on a momentum style trade with no momentum, aka no volume. Uh, backing the move higher back to no pun intended. So those are really my thoughts here inside of the stock. If you enjoyed today's video or learned anything new, let me know in the uh, comment section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.